Time again for another daily dose of metal. Does today's new album have the stuff that it takes to make it into our collection? Well, we're going to find out. We're going to smash and chop this next album to bits to find out what it's made of. And a warning, this may not be for the faint of heart. So, hey, let's get some. Terry, back again with your daily metal album review. Hoping you also enjoyed yesterday's selection for your collection I cover everything in Apple Music's metal section exclusively. My reviews, test drive, analyze, and break down the newest extreme releases from my weekly chart so you don't have to. I'll pair today's review album up with another extreme pick for you to add to your collection afterwards because you love getting more new metal music, right? Today's selection album is Devotion by Hour of Penance, and it's the band's latest album of nine studio albums up for a fresh red line review. You were just in time. Let's go ahead and break this one down. In Apple Music, I open the band's page and I see that there are 10 strong sounding tracks totaling 37 minutes. The album cover artwork, as you can see, is an eerie and biblical theme with custom and standard fonts. Kudos to the artists for the creative work here. They classify themselves in Apple Music as death and black metal. Between that, the album artwork, song titles, and a quick sound check, I visualize something pretty beastly here. What about your predictions? Are you a fan of this band? Let me know in the comments. My genre description before I start the review, I'm going to say that they're in line with melodic or technical death metal. We'll see if that changes in the end, though, during my reveal. Starting with a dreadful, ominous choir, the explode right out of the gate with furious rhythm, range, tempo, melody, fire, and incredible power. It's brutal with monstrous attack from every angle it is yikes okay track two is pure unbelievable mayhem the rhythm riffs guttural vocals and thunderous bass and percussion work are crushing absolutely amazing the attack their instruments like they were on fire in track three it's an onslaught of blazing percussion slashing riffs huge bass and Beast-like guttural vocals, it is just immense. Track four is Sonic Obliteration. It is big, massive instruments, intense fry vocals, and it's overwhelmingly heavy at this point. Track five is an avalanche of sound, superior speed, rhythm, tempo, range, melody, and this is Sonic and technical death metal overload it is so sweet the energy never let up for one second during the rest of the album from start to finish crushing vocals incredible riffs giant bass and those percussions are just rabid i have no idea what kind of a thrill ride i was in for here but it was big in summary, I feel like the clear standout performance is the percussions. Everything is hypermassive. Don't get me wrong, but wow, the drums, unbelievable. This must be absolute mayhem live. This is where technical and slam death metal meet for sure. Tremendous work here from Hour of Penance. Re recording and sound quality was professional, while production and musicality was a combination of raw and refined, in my opinion. I rate the overall levels of rhythm and tempo as massive at a level 7, 8, 8 plus range in intensity, while the harmonies and melodies were equally devastating at a level 7 to 8 and 8 plus as well range of presence in this album as well. I find that the lyrical theme here is biblical warfare and becoming a mainstream or radio act here is never going to happen unless I open a radio station, right? <laughs> the range flow and layout of the album is tight and the tracks are arranged meticulously, I promise. I describe the vocals here as 
hyper beast mode while the guitar work is astoundingly tight with a great balance of rhythm, riffs, melodies all the way through. Bass section was massive. And finally, the drums and percussion performance was, to me, the standout with superb sound and power. The speed was just blistering. There were some samples such as the choir at the beginning to round out the performance. Overall, the energy and intensity here is immense. They feel like the Archspire Exocrine Vitriol range, if that helps put your mind at ease a little wee bit. While my chat GPT says that they have much in common with Behemoth and Hate Eternal as a good match. The temperature rating here is scorching hot at a level 9 plus in heat intensity with a very dark tonality feel. I'm going to set also at a 9 intensity shade while the overall color or colors I personally describe as, well, what color do you give pure rage? I'll say red and black. Does the album art match the feel of the music? Yes, but the band is heavier than the artwork. The general feeling I had during this session was white-knuckled space ride. Led me to give this album a massive seismic reading of 9.3 on my Richter scale, nearing the record there, equaling anything in technical death metal for intensity. This, I believe it's going to be great music for the road or the gym. Now for the reveal, my predictions from earlier were very solid. I said melodic or technical death metal. Now my genre description is just technical death metal supreme. The official bio... It says the same thing. My favorite tracks, there was no let up in the energy all the way through. Every single track here is gold. Finally, of course, it's going to go into my library. I'm going to listen to this one several times. But lastly, stream and experience them for yourself. And that is it for another episode of Redline Reviews. I'm going to dig into my treasure chest and recommend Suffocating in the Current of Time by Praise the Plague just for you, hoping that's a decent match, just to say thanks for hanging out today. And a recap, yesterday during episode 104, I reviewed Deceiving Lights by Out of Vision, and I added Exit Emotions by Blind Channel from my secret stash at the end, and hey, that's four albums in seven minutes. See that last episode for the full scoop. Stream them for yourself and see if they are for you. Lastly, remember, please, you have the power to support all metal artists. Stream them, engage them on social, buy the merch, see them live, and join me again soon for another episode of Redline Reviews. And please hit subscribe, get notified so you can get your new albums here first. Cheers and happy Tuesday. We'll see you tomorrow.